Now let's look at how IPv6 addresses are allocated. So with IPv6 addresses, we have a global unicast address space, and that's defined by the prefix 2000 colon colon slash 3. Now the 2001 colon 0000 colon colon slash 23, that's actually reserved by the IETF. It's used for IETF protocol assignments. We have the 2001 colon 0000 colon colon slash 32, so you'll notice it's the first 32 bits of that address. That's reserved for Teredo. We have the 2001 colon 2 colon colon slash 48 reserved for benchmarking. The colon 10 slash 28 reserved for ORCID. 2001 DB8 colon colon slash 32 used for documentation. And you'll notice that I've used that DB8 address in our examples here because it's a form of documentation or training. The next address space that's allocated is the 2002 colon colon slash 16. That's reserved for six to four tunneling. Now we had the 3FFE colon 831F colon colon slash 32 that was used for Trado, uh, but not widely distributed in network stacks. So that was deprecated in favor of that 2001 colon colon 32. And then we also had what was called the six bone that used the address space 3FFE slash 16, as well as the 5F00 slash eight, but that six bone is no longer. So those are some addresses within IPv6 that are already allocated. The way that they're allocated is from IANA to a regional internet registry or a local internet registry, and then from there to a customer. So as we saw with IP version 4, where some allocation was direct from IANA to an organization, that's no longer the case with IPv6. It's much more hierarchical, a little more strict in how allocation happens. Now the recommendations for allocations, you can find those in RFC 6177. If you wanted to go out and check that RFC out, I would recommend spending a little bit of time reading it. That is what's considered the current best practice in the world of IPv6. And just to give you a little bit of a visual, imagine that we have this network here, a couple of clouds connected together, and we've got that router there. So the IPv6 internet would come from the 2001 colon colon slash three address space. In this case, we've got ISP A, and they've been allocated the 2001-0401 colon colon slash 32 address space. And ISP B has been allocated the 0402 address space. Now, of course, those would be allocated by a regional internet registrar or a local internet registrar. So now the customer, who is a customer of ISP A, they're going to get the 2001-0401, so that's the address space that was allocated to ISP A. And since this is the A customer, they're going to get the first allocatable address from their ISP, which is 0001-48. So now we could take that, and we have 16 bits remaining that we can allocate networks internally as a customer. Because remember, 64 bits is where we cut it off. The first 64 bits of the address will be the network. The last 64 will be the host. So let's take a look at that allocation inside an organization here. So we can see it kind of building here for us. So the 2001-0401-0001 is fixed. The next portion of the address, 0001 slash 64, that's the allocation there between the firewall and the external router. And then we can see it kind of works its way around in a circle. We've got two, three, four down on the bottom. And then we go back up to the router on the right-hand side with five and six on that network that's got a server connected to it. And that's how we would allocate our IPv6 addresses. So again, the al allocation came from a service provider who gave us a slash 48. The remaining 16 bits leaves us two to the 16th 
So you can tell we've got quite a few addresses available for internal allocation. I think that's something like 65,000 networks that we can allocate with a 2 to the 16th. So quite a few. Another thing that I wanted to point out at this, at this point is if you have not had an opportunity to work with IPv6, you can go to he.net, that's Hurricane Electric, he.net, or tunnelbroker.net, and you can sign up for a free account. They'll allocate you an address space, and if you've got a Cisco router sitting around your house, you can set up a tunnel and actually connect into the IPv6 internet through tunnelbroker.net or he.net. So it gives you an opportunity. They'll actually allocate you a slash 48, and if you wanted to go so far as to receive BGP tables from them, you could. 